Hey there guys, my name is Marcus from eCommerce DAO and in this video I decided I'm going to review gem pages. The first thing I'm going to share with you are the good things and bad things about gem pages. Then I'm going to review pricing plans and then I'm going to show you inside the tool and how you can use it. I help dropshipping stores increase conversion rate and also make their site sell more. So if you're interested, I'm writing newsletter every single week about how we can make your site better. We we'll link down below in the description. So the first question is, what is Gempages and how I can use it to my own advantage? Gempages is a page builder with a drag and drop, drag and drop style that is going to allow you create amazing sites. So I'm going to show you right now. Like this is the demo store and you can build something like this with just drag and drop and having great pictures and it just doesn't lo even look like a Shopify store because many times uh, the Shopify stores are so you know for example the dropshipping stores that I'm analyzing are like literally the same and PageFly or Gempages these kind of tools are going to allow you to make it more prettier uh, increase the conversion rate only because the designs are just great so for example when I'm going to show you this demo store like the template demo, when you're gonna change all the pictures, when you're gonna change the design, the colors to what you want, it just looks great. So uh, that's a good thing. So this is about the gem pages. It's going to allow you to make your site better and to increase the conversion rate and then sell more. So that's about the gem pages and the pros. Uh, what are the cons of gem pages? This is important. So the first thing is the learning curve. I definitely recommend if you're someone who is interested in dropshipping and you want to know that it like the first store is always going to suck <laughs> when you're gonna build it but the more you're gonna learn the more you're gonna do and create stores you're gonna be better and better and better and uh, you will just see okay i need to do this i need to change this and when you're gonna learn it straight like from the beginning how you can build a great like landing page for one product that you would sell and you would target on, let's say TikTok, YouTube shorts, maybe like ads. In that way, when you're gonna have like your six, seven store for a product, then you will become like better and better. And you could is like you can use gem pages or page like for that. So that's a con a little bit in the beginning is the learning curve because it's much easier to you know take a Shopify theme, then we just put through Deezers. All the products from AliExpress and like tada I'm a dropshipper now but with this the learning curve is higher so that's the first con that I personally see and the second con that you have to be careful about is that how mm, the performance of your site what do I mean by that how slow is going to be when you want to use a uh, gem pages so this is uh, one thing is that when you will have money hire a designer or someone who can design it with code etc and not uh, with like the drag and drop builder so that's another thing important to know is that when your site is going to be really slow and everything is optimized all the images are optimized all the alt text is good but it's still slow possibly it's going to be because of the page builder now i would definitely test it out if you want to have like one product only a few products to test out gem pages because it's highly effective tool to increase the conversion rate and make your site better and now let's talk about the pricing and how we're going to have it. And this is like a great thing about pricing for gem pages is that you're going to have free option here. So if you want to, you can use the link down below in the description. And you see right here that you get one published page, standard templates, global style. And here you're going to have for like the optimized $59 a month, uh, the premium templates uh, that you can use. And when I go even further, you have the build optimized enterprise even the build for $29 is pretty good in my opinion it's not that expensive about how much value it can bring you but what I would do is that you can use the link down below the description it's an affiliate link and I'm honest about it learn how you can use it to your own advantage really go for like two weeks how you can build a great site watch YouTube videos tutorials I'm going to create my own about gem pages and how you can use it more effectively and just literally pump it up then like look on the competition so there are tools that are gonna see like okay they are using gem pages you can check their apps if they're using it or no and i know that some of the stores that i analyzed in the past that i got like really good store they are using gem pages or PageFly. 
and then just analyze analyze how we can do it check your competition if you could build something like that check the colors get the feedback from reddit from uh, sites and then just build build train train learn learn fail fail and go again go again go again constantly so for me the pricing plans are all right and the option to have a free account on which you can learn how you can use it that's a huge thing so big thumbs up now when we go further uh, on how you can use it and what you can do with it so when i come here let's say that you want to build a landing page right so here i would create a new page and then you see right here start building your page this is like the landing and you see on the left all the elements here right you can change also global styles here and then you have images heading hero banner so when i would add a hero banner here i can change and add the element right into it so if you have just this design in your own body that you can design a great site you can definitely test it out on left side you're going to find the product so let's say that i would just take it and grab the product so this is the product that we have right and I can just play around with it. So third party products, product reviews you could add. Then when I go even further, we can add product list, tabs here, button, image, so a lot of stuff. So if you want to, you can add a single a section here that I can have a layout. So let's say that I can have a layout here and then I'm going to add a product. So I'm going to add a product here, product here, and then another product here. So that's something you can do and play around with it. I know it really, it looks really bad, but I just want to show you how we can use it. So when I go f further and I go back, 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 and I'm going to remove everything. And let's say that I want to uh, do it from template. That's something that I definitely recommend to do when I'm going to create a new page here. And I'm going to explore the templates. So here you're going to have it for subscriptions, a discount, pre-order, flash sale. And you, for example, see this one here, or even you can use this one or this one here. Or like add to page so now when you're going to add it to page you're just going to wait until it's going to load and then here you got it right so what you have to do is just like add the images make it good in canva as seen on these are all like look at this this is a layout and there are images in it then you're going to have the product benefits that i could change and change the text block and everything just looks good and when you look on how it looks on tablet or phone is amazing right and now when i go to how it looks here i could just always change all these images use canva for it like the premium that i'm using it's pretty good then you can get a good pic good pictures and then product feature break breakdown and trusted by more 500,000 customers globally that again these would be the reviews from that you would add here let's say from aliexpress if you're drop shipping or if no and buy more save up more and you can change these two and you see comparison headline and you're gonna have everything right all you have to do is optimize the text optimize um, the benefits etc and it's pretty good so for me, uh, the gem pages, the learning curve is a little bit, a bit higher, probably slow page if you uh, like, maybe not, maybe yeah, because I saw some reports, people saying that they got slow page because they're using page builder. But still, for me, this is a good tool to use, highly effective, and that's pretty much it. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. Hope you can have a great day and goodbye.